Hi, this is the Web Guru, and I have some shaky footage here in my timeline. There's a lion shot and a handheld shot of a mountain. And I'm going to stabilize them using the warp stabilizer effect. So first of all, I need to go to the effects panel. If you can't see it, go to Window Effects. That should bring up the effects panel. The warp stabilizer is inside of the Video Effects Distort folder. But the fastest way of finding it is simply to go to the search box and to type in the word warp. And then it will appear. Here it is, the warp stabilizer effect. Now all I have to do is drag it onto a clip in the timeline. I'm going to start off with the lion. It'll take a few seconds for it to analyze. And then once it's done, the lion is completely stable. So that's pretty amazing. I'm going to try it on this next shot here of the mountain. I'm going to take the warp stabilizer effect, drag it onto the mountain. It'll take a few seconds, possibly minutes, to analyze. If you want to see the progress of this, go to the Effect Controls panel and you'll be able to see a progress bar. If you can't find the Effect Controls panel, go to Window Effect Controls. Window Effect Controls will bring it up. And now you'll see that this shot is also very stable. Now most of the time this effect works automatically. But if you want to change any of the settings, you can do that in the Effect Controls panel. You may have to scroll a little bit until you find the Warp Stabilizer effect. And then here are all of the settings. I'm going to go back to the Lion Clip. Make sure you click on the clip that you wish to modify. Then I'm going to find the Warp Stabilizer settings. First of all, we can turn the effect on and off by clicking on the little FX button next to the word Warp Stabilizer. So that is off, and then I can turn it back on. You'll notice that with this effect, the footage gets cropped a little bit. Underneath Stabilization Result, the default is Smooth Motion. That means that there might be some camera movement. If you don't want any camera movement at all, then you can change it to No Motion. But this might crop the footage even more, but you can see here the camera is completely static. Uh, most of the time, I prefer Smooth Motion. And on this shot with the mountain, the camera is moving. So Smooth Motion is what we want. We would not choose No Motion. So here with the lion, we also have something called the method. The default is subspace warp. In case you get distortion or a jello or a wobbly or a wiggling effect inside of your footage, you can experiment with different methods. Subspace warp will distort kind of the edges of the frames. Um, if you're getting too much distortion, you can try perspective. Or you can try one of the other ones, such as position scale rotation or position to try to remove some of that distortion. Uh, on this shot, subspace warp was actually working just fine. As I scroll down, we have scale. We have auto scale, which is usually fine. Uh, if you want to change the scale, you can play around with these settings. In the advanced category right here, you can click on the checkbox that says Detailed Analysis. This will take more time, but often creates a better result. On this shot, it looks very good. Fortunately, Warp Stabilizer Effect usually works out of the box without having to make a lot of changes. So I hope you found this video useful. Feel free to subscribe to the channel or connect with me on social media. Thank you.